What's up, video gamers? Sidok here from Mystical GMA, and welcome back to you. It's another episode of Pokemon Mission Get Student Infinity Let's Play. In the last episode, Sepeg uh, and his wonderful part wonderful partner, Ashu, found, uh, found a found a very mischievous uh, Swaloon trying to uh, trying to escape from his mom. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> they tried to escape from his mom. Uh, he was trying to uh, he was hiding in the woods trying to look for a present for his mom. That's what it was for. Because apparently it was her birthday, so... <laughs> That's kind of cute. Anywho, now we're moving on to the next part of the storyline. Let's continue. Alright, so Nightfall. Hey, Sabig. You still awake? I can't see... I just can't see to fall asleep in this humidity. Sleepig. You know, when, when I was watching Levani and the, and the others today, it made me think. You've got friends and family too, right? In your world, Sleepig? In your world, Sleepig? The human world? How do you how do you think they're feeling right now? Are you all close? I... I don't have anyone like that. Parents, brothers, or sisters. That's right. I've, I've been alone as long as I can remember. I've never had any friends either. I wanted them, but I, I wanted them, but I couldn't make any. The relationships between Pokemon just aren't very good in, in these world. In this world, if we could just get along a little better, but well, everyone's so quick to fight to pick fights. Even Pokemon who seem like friends on the, the, on the surface are, are, are really aren't. No one said what, what they mean. Uh, it's all just uh, lies and lip service. I just can't live like that. That's why I've never had any friends up, to, up until now. I was probably no different from Verizon. And, and now that now that I think about it. But you know. At least I, I never stopped good looking. Not just for, for some uh, superficial alliance. But for someone I could trust with the, with the real me. A true friend. I thought how great it would, it would be to, to actually do something real, real with this kind of friend. Like making this kind of paradise. And that's why every day here is finally so much fun for me. Thank you, Savig. I hope these days will continue. I think I can finally fall asleep now. Guess you already did, huh, Savig? I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep now. See you tomorrow, Savig. Good night. Huh. I think I might. I'm not too sure about. Uh, 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 <laughs> the next morning. Also, I just put the pimple on my on the on the, on the um side of uh, right side of my nose, and it's bother and it, uh, put some fix on it so it's, because it was bothering me because like pus is like started coming out like crazy. And, yeah, you guys don't wanna, yeah, I guess you guys don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a freaking I'm a freaking emo person. <laughs> Morning, Savig. Let's give it our all again today. It's funny how I uh, it's funny how I uh, how I um it's funny how I say that I'm edgy, but I'm really I don't I uh, the only thing that makes me look edgy is my hair. That's really it. Uh, 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 in my um and maybe my facial expressions when I'm out and about. You guys can probably tell uh, you guys can probably tell them that um. If you guys ever met me in real life, you guys could probably tell I'm edgy, or like a bit edgy, but uh, not really. <laughs> Say pig, Ashu, Amalga, what's up? He's here in Post Town. The, the, the suspicious Pokemon. What? You mean the suspicious Pokemon that Happy sent a uh, notice about? That suspicious Pokemon? Well, don't know about that. It seems like this Pokemon collapsed on, on his way to, to, to Post Town. Collapse? Yeah, he's been taken. He's been taken to the inn already. Uh, already, and actually, Nora is looking after him. I get. A gl I got a glance at him uh, at least. He didn't look like a, like all, uh, all. It didn't look all that scary to me. So basically, there's no guarantee that he's even a bad Pokemon. Yeah, 
but he's not from around here, and no one, no one's e e ever seen him before. So this all seems pretty suspicious. Gerda is already assuming the worst. He's start, he's starting to treat, he started treating this new Pokemon like a bad guy right already, right away. It's that pretty. Got it. We'll swing by the end then. Yeah, you do that. I'll go get get the iris together. Ah, uh, yeah, you go do that. Um. I'm all good. Save it. Let's go. Let's, let's go see uh, how things are going in the end. Alrighty. Yay! We team new Pokemon. You see, you mean we get to meet a new story. Uh, we get to meet a new story member. Where else goes around? Ashu. Ashu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you coming, Ashu? Yes, I know where the end is at. I'm an idiot. Well, I'm waiting for you to come along, jeez. Breezy Meadow, Tempting Path. Do, 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 do. Check your items here. I can't tell you guys enough how much I love the Mr. Dungeon games. Like, legit. Like, they're my favorite they're my, they're my favorite Pokemon games out of, like, all the Pokemon games that I've played. Even, uh, they're definitely way better than... They're definitely, um, in my opinion, much better than the main series Pokemon games. Like, I prefer them a lot more. But, um, you know, I can, I can understand why, why a story can sometimes get a little repetitive. But it's fun in the, uh, in the least, you know? Because, like, it's fun just to see the characters and bring, uh, like, how well they bring the characters to life, you know? In the games. And how much I uh, love bringing the characters to life in my voices, you know? As well. Whoa, there are so many Pokemon here. Excuse me, could you, could you last through? Sorry. Dang. Don't you play don't you play answer with me, bub! I wanna hear I wanna hear some straight answers! What kind of plot are you are you brewing? Uh, coming coming to our town like this? No, Th I I never. Ugh. Gerder, he's still in pain. Stop being so ridiculous. Er, but 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 Swana, he could he could, he could just be pretending to be hurt, you know? Then once once everyone's let, let their guard down, then 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 we'll strike. Don't be absurd! He isn't you, after all. So sorry. This is the Pokemon that collapsed? Aye, that's right, Sonny. I was just out, out for the morning so stroll. You can, you can I imagine the me shock of finding a poor heart Pokemon lying there in the, in the road? I don't know. He doesn't look like a bad guy, but... Well, like he's not. Well, um, <clears throat> that's not the right voice for Timber. I don't know. He, well, he, uh, uh, well, he's not from around here, right? So we don't know for sure. Sorry for the wait, everybody. I bought Darn Sparks and Verizon again, too. Uh, oh! Oh! Umbreon! Uh, Umbreon! What happened to you? What's his condition? He'll pull through. He's been injured, but it, mo it, it mostly just seems uh, to be exhaustion at, the, at, the, uh, at this point. Give him some time to, to and some rest, and I think he'll be fine. Are you sure? Thank goodness. Verizon, you know this Pokemon? I know him. His name is Umbreon. He's a dungeon researcher. A dungeon researcher? Yes. Umbreon's research researches the uh, mysterious powers present in this land, including the dungeons. That research was, uh, was his life, especially his investigations of the Great Glacier. The... the Great Glacier? <laughs> Do you remember what I told you all before when we saw that mirage? That I had, the, that I had seen the Great Glacier up close from a mountain on, on the seaside? That, that's when I met Umbreon. Oh, so, oh, so that's the, the truth of it. Uh, oh, wait. Here we are uh, all about it, about it, about it, about it. 
Seems there's nothing a thing to, to worry about. To, uh, well, this is uh, too lad. Fine, sorry. But Umbreon wasn't the only one I met then, then either. He had a partner, Espeon. Uh, Umbreon and Espeon were investigating the Great Glacier together, you know? Uh, partner? Then where's the Espeon or whatever now? I have tons of questions, but... I guess the only one with the answers is the is Umbreon guy here, right here. I don't think you'll, you'll be getting any, any answers for that today then. But I'll let, I'll let you know as, as soon as the Umbreon is, uh, is up and moving. Got it. Then I guess we better head back to the, to the paradise, huh? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go get some requests done for, from the from the board now. Uh. One thing is sure is I'm gonna love voice acting uh, uh, Umbreon and Espeon in, the game, in this game. Yeah, I got some pretty good voices for for them, for them both, you know. Also, I love how they always like the uh, how the uh, Mission games implement couples into the uh, uh, you know into the uh, like you know and stuff like that. You have to like build a relationship between the Pokemon uh, between the, po the partner and the Pokemon in this the Pokemon and its partner in, this, in the game. You know, I love how they do that. Okay, let me go ahead and make um. Fungus behind the uh, uh, Fungus um sit out for this one. Stand by Fungus and stand by uh, Archon. Oh, uh, Arkham, sorry. Confirm. All right, now do we have any? Do we have any news? I know we're running a little bit low on items too. I gotta like um, find some more um, rival seeds. Huh. Question, um, Quagsire, do you have any rubber seeds at your, uh, at your thing? Okay, let me go ahead and withdraw my money from here. Ooh, 578, 1,344. I can probably build some, like, um, say, there is a, there is a, um, what's the other one I, build, I want to build? And I want to get any mode, whoops. We're in companion mode. Yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if it's companion mode right now. But I'm going to click with materials. Okay, materials for building facilities. Because I want to build a second treasure. Oh, actually, I actually have enough for that now. Sweet. All right, let's go. Let's go meet up. Let's go meet up with Gerda then. Okay, very quickly. There's land over here that I don't need to make. Need to uh, prepare. And then, um, hmm. Is there, let me see. Is there, is there already three? Is there already three um, facilities over here? Okay, one, two. Yeah, there's already three facilities here. So we gotta um, make. We gotta. We gotta make room for land. For some land. Gotta prepare some more land. Thank you for the orange berries. You know, I'll plant one. Okay, so now. Wow, 14 minutes already. Jeez. Okay, I don't know if probably stick it, so, um, hmm. let's, do, let's do a scratch ticket, because I want to do what I'm doing. Uh, pitch fire orb, and, and a max elixir. Two of them, to be exact. Hmm. Not really worth it. That's not really, uh, really uh, expensive in, in this game, to be honest. Alright, let's go ahead and meet up with um, Girder and uh, build some and prepare some land. So that we can build build second treasure. I'm not trying to talk to you, Ashu. Jeez. If 
form prepare some land, then the girders is screw all you need. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and both here. Uh, cool Creek side, um, 600 Poke! This is only 300? Pleasant Plain or a Cool Creek side? A 600 Poke worth though. I don't want to waste that much because I'm not going to have enough for the, um, hmm. Then again, I might just have enough. Yeah, I don't want to waste my money that much though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another Pleasant Plain. Alright, now we can go build land over there. Alright, some rich soil, some precious branch, and uh, some luscious metal. And some stone slab as well. And sturdy vine. Fresh herb. Dang, could we getting a lot of uh, material items? Paradise has gotten bigger. Can I have even more Pokemon joining you as teammates? Sweet. Alright. Now, I know it's, it's been, I know it's uh, six, we're approaching 16 minutes now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and call the Gurder team because I wanna uh, go ahead and build something here. Not buried in seeds, I wanna build a second treasure. I can, yes, I can. Sweet. Second treasure it is. I, I love this game. I play all, I'm gonna play them, I will play them daily. The only thing that sucks though is it's, 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 uh, toe, it's uh, toe based controls. First game. Made a game. So I will have to cut until after I uh, come back and I finish all of it. Whenever, whenever I do play it. And it costs like 100 Poke for each one. It's a fun little game, it's a fun little mini game to play, I love it. You wouldn't like, you wouldn't like some good prizes too. Uh, how am I supposed to get out of this facility? I mean this facility, um, this, uh, land. Because you, you can't go out this way, so how do we get back? Um, do we have to try the new facility out, or can we just leave? Which way do we come from? I don't remember. Oh, okay, we came from this way. There we go. All right, let's see. Do we have any notes? Any job? Any job? Any jobs? Any job list? We do. We have Ragged Mountain. They're looking for the trendy specs. Okay. So that's the mission we're gonna go do. So please. Alright, so I know it's 18 minutes deep and we're just from, like, we're from wandering around doing stuff. Let's go ahead and do one mission real quick. Uh, one request to. Uh, mission real quick before we end the episode off. I keep going back to the Viking Mountain a lot. I don't know why. But I guess it's because it's just like I like the scene right here. Do, 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 do. Eastern Cave of Ragamon. I must have my title. Hi, you missed confusion. Ooh, everyone wants to join the team. You already have the same kind of Pokemon on your team. Hmm. Might as well. Like, I don't really nickname Pokemon, to be honest. Well, mission games I really don't. Uh, in other games I do. 
The only time I really did name those is uh, in, in like a Nuzlocke format in the Pokemon, in the main Pokemon games. I mean, I tried. I tried um, when I first played through Pokemon. When I first played through Pokemon Moon, uh, when I first got the game, I, I actually didn't name all Pokemon, but they were like all random names, you know. Some of them I came up with myself, and then some of them like um, uh, some of them were my. One of them was was made for my friend. Uh, what I made. Uh, one nickname, one nickname that I got from uh, Aquos, my my Rockwinded, was actually name was actually um, a name suggestion by my my buddy Caleb. That's how I named it in the game. Ba -bum. Okay, so I'm, I have no idea when we're supposed to we're supposed to go in for the um oh right for the training specs. Look, there they are, right there. And of course, to find out a clink. But that was easy. Let's go and get here. Let's get the training specs. Oh, this is a reward. Ba -ba -bum. Nice warning. Morning, Saint Pig. Let's give it all again today. All right, let's go ahead and save and continue. 20 minutes. We can still go. We can see what we can Hmm. Hey! Umbreon! Umbreon's up and moving now! Really? Yeah. Only problem is... He says he's gotta, uh, gotta get out of Parrot Post Town right away. What? Of course, we got, of course we told him not, not to push it, uh, but, he, but he just ain't listen, listening to, it, to a word anybody says. So Signora, Signora told me to, to come and get you. Got it. I'll get everyone together. Hey, fellow, you shouldn't you shouldn't be pushing yourself like yet. Yeah. But but if I don't uh, 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 make it in time, uh. come on, listen to reason. It's just too 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 soon to be moving around like that. Rest up a bit longer, okay? Umbreon, Verizon. Seems like I owe you for clear, for clearing up the misunderstanding about me. I've got to th thank you for that. And while I'd love to say stay in chat, I got a prior appointment. Seems you have a reason to be uh, in such a rest. rush. Rush. Uh. But you're not get getting any anywhere in that condition. Umbreon, why don't you explain what's going on? We might be able to help you, you know. Hmm. That's true enough. Fine. Let me start by it from the beginning. What? You ran on the way to Post Town? Because you were being attacked by some strangers? That's right. They went, the, they attacked uh, Espeon and me out of the blue. We both ran, ran off in, in different directions. I was lucky enough to, to even, uh, to end up here, but... Espeon, she's probably still on the run from those monsters. I've got to go. I have to find her. So that's why. But why do you think some someone would would ever uh, attack you too? Would attack you too? My guess is they were probably after uh, after these. Are these cards? 
Is this your fir- is this your first time seeing them? They're called ender they're called intercarts. See, everyone know, knows that the, 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 land, the land around around here has ju- unusual, high, unusually high mysteriosity. But even the mysterious power in, in, in these ca- kinds of areas does obey some rules. It follows certain paths, what we call what we call ley lines. The, fo- the flow of these ley lines affects and, and, and determines the mysteriosity in an area. Once a year, we realized that dungeons researchers like Mesfion and I began to wonder. What if we could uh, use the power of, the, uh, of, of those ley lines for, for ourselves? So that's where the ender cards come in. As for, uh, as for, uh, for what the ender cards actually do, well... <laughs> Dang! You put them all to sleep! Hey, why are you all asleep? <laughs> well, why, why are we sleeping? Why are we sleeping? I guess so. It, it was like some some uh, po- awesomely powerful spell was cast over us, <laughs> like being hypnotized. <laughs> I, I for one had had, lo- uh, had a lovely dream. Now I feel uh, all ref- refreshed. So sorry, I guess my explanation was a little on the technical side. Seeing it for yourself is probably the easiest way to understand. Let's go outside. Uh, are you okay? Go go on, you two. Help him up. Yes, Pauls. Come on, we got you. Uh, you want you to walk in on me, on? Uh, yeah, sorry about this. Wow. What's going on up here? I did a game myself, but it seems this uh, stranger is a, is a boot to taste. Uh, show us uh, a real treat. Don't you get uh, in, in the way, lad? Wow, I wonder what, what it will be. This, uh, this is kind of uh, exciting. Alright, this is, this is how I do it. Everybody, if, if you could step back a bit. Here we go. Whoa, the lights! The, the that's what is that thing? It's a magnet gate. It's an entrance to to a dungeon. An entrance to a dungeon? Mhm. Yeah. The, the, though is this is this one isn't complete. We start by crafting undercards undercar- for the for the ley lines where we want we want to read. Then using different uh, com- combinations of those cards and varying their p- replacement, we can change the flow of, lay- of the ley lines and force them into into new patterns. You see, then boom, you've got a, you got the entrance to the to a dungeon. The entrance to a dungeon it, it, that, that you that you see before you now, it, it, it's a particularly special one. Chances are, no one else in the world has, has ever used it. It's a path that uh, Espion and I found, found, finally found after comp- compiling all of the, uh, our years of research. We, we were, uh, were using the power of the, of the sun and the, and the moon to, to manipulate some serious ley lines. But, these two uh, cards uh, here aren't enough, enough to summon a, a real mandigate. I need the, 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 the other two cards to, uh, if I want, wanted to, to summon a, a usual mandigate. I see. I think I get it now. And the other cards you need are with Espeon, are they? Yeah. My enter cards are, are, are and Espeon's, by, by combining both sets, it seemed like, like we were finally going to be able to complete our research. But we were attacked right after we finished uh, making those car- these cards. That's why I've, I've got to assume that, that the enemy is after our enter cards. When you consider the fact that no one has attacked you since you've been here, it seems they might be trying to avoid trying attention to themselves. I don't know about that, Swana, but they could—they could just be just want you to think that uh, they could just want you to think that they, then they'll strike. They strike out of the blue. At any rate, we can all protect Umbreon together as long as we as he's here. Which just that leaves us beyond. What? You, you mean? There's no way. There's no way we, we, we wouldn't save her after hearing all this. 
We want, we want, uh, we want, we can't just sit back and relax when, uh, when someone's in trouble. We're, <clears throat> we're the computer after all. Hey, what up to us? Well, we'll definitely bring bring us behind back safe. That, that, that there aren't there aren't even words. I promise I'll pay you back for some for this somehow. I think Espion ran off in the, in the direction of the of the crags of lament. I know I know I saw the, the, uh, uh, some of our pre uh, pursuers heading the, that way. I'm sorry, but I'm counting on you on you to, to for for this one one. You've got to save on uh, Espion for, from them. Be, be well. You can you can believe uh, you can believe that. Say big. You, you can decide, you can decide who's gonna go right. You can decide who's gonna go right. Well, when everything's right ready, let, let, let's let's head out at once. We're going to, to the cracks of the mud and saving us beyond. Yeah. And we approach thirty minutes. Huh. Almost thirty-one minutes. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and close it out for today. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, if you like, comment, and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys next time. He's not a Fox Clan.